going on guys? So it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I've had no sleep. I need to set off to go to Bradford Airport, so my suitcase is all packed. Um, my hand luggage is packed. Um, I've even got like my passport, my boarding passes in this little Gucci man bag. Just so it's there, you know, so I don't need to lose it or rummage through my bags looking for it. I've never been to Leeds or Bradford Airport before. So it should be interesting. I'm gonna try and get as much vlogging footage as I can. So let's get going. Okay. Oh. Right, let's do this. So I've just put it in the sat nav and it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to get there. Still gonna arrive pretty early, but I don't wanna take my chances. So I'm gonna set off early and yeah, we'll go from there. I don't know if you guys can tell how absolutely shattered I am. But I, I've arrived at the car park. I think I'm in the right one. I'm supposed to be in the mid-stay, but I think I'm in the short stay. Uh, but I left my, my booking confirmation on the dash, so hopefully I don't come back and then there's, there's like an issue or something. But this car park's huge, I need to figure out how to get to the airport. So And it's freezing as well, I'm only wearing a t-shirt. Fortunately, I've got a jacket in the back, so... I'm way too early, but I'd rather be early than late. When you're three weeks up from a competition and there's only so much you can eat at this airport food, honestly. There's just so much carbs around, like everything else. It cost me like 12 pounds for a drink of water some yogurt and salad. I can't understand why something like that would be so expensive, it's absolute bullshit. I'm really annoyed that I actually bought it, but in terms of traveling and dieting, it's real difficult unless you've got all your meals there and then. And I struggle to diet unless I'm prepared, and today I'm not prepared at all. We'll have to get the ball rolling the minute I arrive in uh, Cyprus. So the time being, just gonna eat this and sleep on the bloody plane because I'm shattered. Finally got on the plane, I'm going to sleep because I'm so fucking tired. So I'll see you guys in Cyprus. Okay, so I finally arrived and I'm here with this little munchkin here. I actually told Sophie that I was going to arrive at like 6 o'clock. Oh no, I told you that what? That we were left? Yeah, you said that your flight was at 6 a.m. Turns out, so she was, she was ready to pick me up like two hours before Three I actually arrived, before. so she's not happy with me. So I've threw all my bags in the room, we're gonna head over to Lidl now. I need to get some food because I've obviously eaten nothing. You only saw what I ate before I had that salad. And I didn't even eat that yogurt because it, it, just, it, it I'm pretty sure it was off. So I'm Don't starving. Worry. What time is it now? Like five? It's like five o'clock, so we're gonna go and get some food and then make something. Sophie's got a show tonight, so we're gonna watch that. A double show? I don't know what that means. I think it just means she's got two shows. No, 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 no. That's 90 minutes of cardio, okay? No, that's not what I'm going to No, because that's 90 So I'm going to be bored shitless, basically. I'm joking, it's dream girls. I'm all about that. Okay, You're so let's... You're going to be watching athletes do their thing, let's, okay? Let's, let's go to Lidl. All kinds of different restaurants. Look, rest in peace, one fell off. <laughs> Actual size so got a soldier broken down. Okay. Oh, get me one of those for my birthday. Hello? Ow. Stop. Who do you think you are wearing sunglasses inside? Cool. Too cool for school, right? <laughs> just, there's just a little salami here. Stop looking at the meat. Where's all the chicken and, Where's the, all the, meat? and, and the beef? Well, I'd look at this one here. Eyes, oh my god! It's a rabbit. His eyeballs are. The only way I can tell it's a rabbit is because it's got pictures of one. Ah. I think I'll pass. It's not on the diet plan. That one looks like a fetus. And that one looks like it's been ripped out of someone's womb. Oh, the chicken. Well, now we've got our food for the next maybe two to three days. Sophie's got her. What have you got here? Crunchy muesli with dark chocolate. It's not mine, I promise you. And uh, we've even got like some weird milk. I don't know what kind of milk it is, but everything here is like, is it Turkish? 
Greek. Or is it Greek? I don't know, because it said we're in Turkey in the airport. So everything, like, you can't even read the nutritional value on all the packaging, so we're just going to have to go with it and stick to, like, the natural food. So we bought frozen chicken, frozen veg, because everything is so expensive. So we're going to go home and make some food now before Sophie gets ready for a show. So let's get it. <laughs> Look at the state of this place. Girls say guys are messy. Yeah. So I'm just putting some chicken on, just a, some chicken and broccoli I'm going to be eating now. Um, you can see over there, the swimming pool, that's where I'm going to be doing my cardio in the mornings. I'm just going to eat now. Sophie's getting ready for a show, and so are the other girls. Um, and we're going to be watching that later, so that should be interesting to see what she's been getting up to all this time. But it's good to just re um, unwind. So it's pretty decent so far, you know. Good first impressions. It's got four wheels, really. If it's quicker to go around the roundabout, probably. Okay, that looks like a brisk and meow. Wow, you want it to take a pick. Sophie, fueling up before a show. Just trying to get the whole, uh, you know, the protein in. <laughs> We've got the carbs. We've got the, the, the chips. <laughs> Hello. So we are in Smart Line Mayfair Hotel. Sophie has just eaten her all you can eat buffet and she's not even touched any of it. I'm just sat here trying to like, I'm, I'm just involve you in it as well because I just don't want to exclude you from it. But we're, wait, we're waiting for her to step on stage. She's going to be on in what like? Well, she's going to get ready in about 20 minutes or so and then I'm just going to be sat down on my own watching it for about 90 minutes or so. Am I going to be on my own for 90 minutes or are you going to like come in after one show and then chill for a bit? Or? Yeah, come out for one show and we've got a double show tonight. She's got two shows in one take so I'm going to film bits of that and then show you guys what she's actually doing. These these DVDs are literally like older than both of us. Oh my god, they still still the VHSs as well. Oh my god. Magic that, that English. Older than me. Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, 15 euros. <laughs> three, three weeks out, I might need one of those. That's five. <laughs> nah, I'm alright. Show him what you've just bought. <laughs> I don't think we have these in England. It is literally just mm. a giant Oreo. First bite. First bite. Look at the detail. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I hate you so much oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> How long was that? About two hours overall. Maybe just over two hours of just pure cardio. I got tired watching, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanna go home and sleep now, but Sophie, what are you, what are you doing? She's fucking around, so we're gonna wait for a few minutes. And not only that, she decided we'll have to walk home, so I wanna go to bed now, but I'm gonna walk. You can imagine how tired I am, so I'm gonna cut this vlog out for today, and then we're gonna carry on for tomorrow. So it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and I need to do some cardio, so. All the girls are getting ready for the day, having breakfast. I've not eaten yet, but cardio time by the pool. It's a must. Yeah, so I've not got like um, a watch or anything, so I don't really know how long I'm going to be doing it for. We'll just have to see. I mean, like the pool's pretty big, so I'm probably going to go for like just as many lengths as I can. As you can see behind me, this is how you're supposed to do cardio. <clears throat> I'm still pretty tired, but. It's going to be a lot different to being on the Stairmaster for 40 minutes, but I'm just going to get enough so I'm pretty tired, basically. That's all I'm going to do. <sighs> so I've just done like 10 then for something like that, but... It's really... A lot of people are saying stuff like, you know, if you're on prep for shows, it's not wise to go on holiday and things, and part of me does agree with that, but it all depends on your mentality. If you're in prep mode and you go on holiday, as long as you're still got the same mindset as you would when you're back at home. There's absolutely no reason for you to not stick to the plan, stick to the diet, 
I think the most reason, the main reason why people say that is because you're on holiday to relax, enjoy yourself. But if you live for it, if you enjoy training, you enjoy doing cardio, maybe not so much enjoy dieting, but it's three weeks away. So it's just, you know, just one last push now. Trying to get my, uh, give it my best. Will it set me back? It could do, it could do, but I'm not gonna turn down a holiday for the sake of a show. It's just not what I wanna do. Like, if it was something, if it was like the Olympia or something, maybe, but I mean, look at the, look at the guys in America. Like, they're practically in a holiday 24-7. So, Jay Cutler lives in Las Vegas, so he can he can win the Olympia whilst being living and training in in LA in Las Vegas. Then no excuse. But I am going to do a video talking about staying in shape while traveling. Um, but if you're watching this vlog, then there's a possible chance that I've already done it, and it'll be uploading as. This one's finished uploading most likely, so I'm going to be doing probably about 50 more lengths or something like that. It's nuts as well, like swimming in comparison to being on a treadmill is just so much more tiring, like, because you're using your entire body. Um, what better way to do it, you know? Like, I, I used to be a swimmer, like, I used to love swimming, and it's just great cardiovascular. And when you're in weather like this, in a pool like that, and there's absolutely no reason why you can't do it. It's literally on the doorstep, so I'm gonna do some more lambs and then I'll catch you guys afterwards. So we're at Guava Beach now, having a few drinks, and for me, I'm just having like an iced coffee with like, uh, skimmed milk and no sugar, so it doesn't really taste half as near as good, and just water. The, wa the water bottles aren't used to like having like one litre bottles, so I just have to make them with a shit ton of these, so we're going to go in the sea and just chill out for the rest of the day. So catch you guys later. Now, we've been swimming and just dancing, drinking water for me, but nobody's drinking cocktails. The other girls are just at the bar, and it's all going pretty down. What time is it, do you reckon? I'm guessing it's around about four o'clock or something. So later on, we're going to go meet with Sophie's family because I came out to see her for her birthday. Um, we're just chilling, so we'll catch you guys next time. So we are home now. Where are we going next? To the harbour. We're off to the harbour to meet up with Sophie's family. And um, I think we're going to some restaurant, so that should be interesting to see what I can eat and what everyone else is going to be up to. Um, but I'm going to end this one for today because the minute we get back, I'm probably going to do some swimming tonight before bed and then we'll start off again tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs>